You're watching the Financial News Network. I'm Chuck Pierce, and here's what's in the news for Tuesday, May 22nd. The Wall Street Journal reports J.P. Morgan Chase's recent trading mistakes are becoming a boon for some of its major competitors, including Goldman Sachs and Bank of America, who have scored profits that could total $500 million to a $1 billion on trades that sometimes put them directly against J.P. Morgan's chief investment office. The Wall Street Journal also reports the Organization for Economic Cooperation and Development today cut its forecasts for growth across the Eurozone for this year and next and warned that the area's debt crisis could pull it into a downward spiral without the right policy action. Reuters reports China can now bypass Wall Street when buying U.S. government debt and go directly to the U.S. Treasury in what is the Treasury's first direct relationship with a foreign government. Reuters also reports just before Facebook's $16 billion IPO, Morgan Stanley, the deal's lead underwriter, unexpectedly delivered negative news to major clients, saying the bank's consumer Internet analyst Scott Devitt was reducing his revenue forecasts for the company. Bloomberg reports the types of derivative swaps said to have led to a loss of at least $2 billion at J.P. Morgan Chase may be the first of which the U.S. Commodity Futures Trading Commission would require guarantees by clearinghouses under the Dodd-Frank Act, according to the CFTC chairman Gary Gensler. Finally, Bloomberg also reports MetLife may target annuities and U.S. retail life insurance for cost cuts as CEO Kendarian unveils his plan to improve returns. For further updates on these stories and more, keep it right here to the Financial News Network, your source for the latest business news.